This is an automatic nutrient doser. It mixes up, monitors, and controls batches of hydroponic nutrient solution all by itself. No more measuring and mixing by hand. No more stirring. No more pH testing and adjusting. This thing right here claims to take care of everything for you. It turns water into ready-to-use hydroponic feed solution. Day in, day out. Now, if you're thinking this looks kind of daunting, you know, too many bottles, too many tubes, and too many flashing warning lights, then understand that I harbored all these misgivings too. In fact, for the longest time, I considered this sort of thing overkill for hobby growers. But I went for it, and I've been using this doser for about 18 months now, and it has changed my life. But not in the way I expected. Sure, it does exactly what it says it does. It literally takes care of my mixing and maintaining my nutrient solution, arguably better than I could myself. I was able to take a holiday for a week, and I came back to perfect plants and a perfect nutrient solution. Getting an automatic doser isn't giving you permission to take your eye off the ball. Sure, it frees up a ton of time. Time I can spend focusing directly on my plants rather than nutrient mixing. My plants definitely seem to enjoy a boost in productivity as a direct result of my nutrient solution always being in perfect balance. But still, the move from the old world of manual nutrient mixing and maintenance to the brave new world of letting an automatic doser do it for me was a big deal. There are some important ideas and concepts to learn, and others you need to unlearn. So I'm going to share my experiences and hopefully get you on the fast track if you're planning to make an upgrade. Okay, amigos, let's take things from the top. This is called a Pro Controller, and these things right here are called Parapods. Everything is manufactured by a company called Blue Lab, headquartered in New Zealand, but you can find their gear pretty much worldwide. So, the Pro Controller here is the brain of the system, and it controls these Parapods, which do the physical work of actually pumping nutrient concentrate from these bottles into the reservoir. You can connect up to three Parapods, so if you use the four pump Parapods rather than the three pump units I've got here, you can dose from up to 20 12 different bottles. With the M3s, I can dose from up to 9. This system also comes with pH and EC probes included, which connect to the Pro Controller and are placed in the reservoir. Our first job is to fill this thing with water. Ding! And I want to begin by imagining what we would do if the Pro Controller and Parapods weren't here. Business as usual, in other words, just me mixing up my hydroponic nutrient solution in the normal, manual way. Chances are you're already saving yourself a bunch of time by using these bottles of liquid concentrated hydroponic nutrients. You know, your standard Grow A and B, Bloom A and B, or three-part Grow Micro Bloom. Different brands, pretty labels, often the same or very similar composition, all very easy to use. I've located my tubes as far away from each other as I can. Make sure that they're well fixed in place as I find that the action of the peristaltic pumps can dislodge them. You will note that the order in which we add the different components is important to minimize the risk of precipitation. So, now you might be well tempted to ask, how do we teach this machine to replicate all that? The answer is... We don't. The Pro Controller can be administered directly on the unit itself, or you can do it wirelessly via a laptop. If you choose to go the laptop route, you will need to download the Blue Lab Connect software. It's free and available on Blue Lab's website. I've got the link below. Just be sure that your laptop is within sight of the Pro Controller. If you want to administer the device from another room or floor in the building, you can plug in range extenders. Fire it up. If it's the first time, you'll need to do the four-digit code on the Pro Controller, and you enter that into the box here to wirelessly link your laptop to your Pro Controller. The Pro Controller appears as a new device. Select it. Click on Device Settings. This is where we set up our target EC and pH. I click on this little plus button until I reach my desired nutrient strength. I'm in monitor mode, which means that no dosing will take place. It's actually more like a Blue Lab Guardian, just showing me the status rather than trying to actually do anything about it. Next, it's the on time. This refers to how long the doser will pump nutrients for during each dosing cycle. Don't forget to click on the Apply button after making any changes in any screen. You'll find it at the bottom of each screen, but it can be easy to miss. My rule of thumb for the M3s and M4s is to take the number of liters in your reservoir and divide it by 20. Ideally, we want to start dosing to increase the EC by no more than 0.1 millisiemens. Next, the off time. This is how long the doser waits before checking the EC again and deciding whether another dose is required. I have an off time here of 7 minutes and 40 seconds. This should be more than enough time for my small circulation pump in the reservoir to mix everything up homogeneously. 
Quick tip, use a small pump and a long buffer time rather than a big pump and a short buffer time. I like my circulation pumps to be on 24-7, but larger pumps can easily heat up your nutrient solution too much if they're constantly running. Use a tiny one like this. You can connect your pump to a cycle timer, but then you risk the doser starting a dosing cycle when the circulation pump isn't running, so small pump constantly running is how I roll. And make sure the tubes are not submerged but hovering just above to mitigate any risk of siphoning. Now pH is easy to figure out. Select the target pH 6.0. My pH dosing direction is always down, so I make sure that's set. I've selected an on time of one second on high and low alarms of 6.5 and 5.5 respectively. I've diluted this pH down 1 to 5 with RO water, applying the same principle, making the off time as long as you can to allow for good mixing. Switch on the reservoir circulation pump. Make sure your pH and EC probes are clean and fully submerged. I like them to be close to the bottom of the tank if possible. If this is your first time using the Pro Controller, you can manually prime the pump so that the liquids are sucked through the tubing and are ready to pump. You should also calibrate the pH meter using the calibration fluids provided. It only takes a few minutes, but it's so important not to skip this step. And we're ready to let the Pro Controller do its thing. Change the mode from monitor to control, hit apply, and we're good to go. Now, the Pro Controller springs into life and it goes round and round in a cycle, checking the nutrient solution, conductivity, dosing if necessary, waiting, and doing it all again. It's the same sort of deal with the pH cycle, except it's checking the pH and dosing the pH adjuster if the pH is too high. So it doses each part simultaneously according to the settings we just entered. Then it waits, the off time, and repeats the cycle. Same deal for the pH, check, dose if necessary, wait, check again. Once it reaches its target, it's time to chill. Note to the physical location of the Pro Controller and Parapods, handily sat right above my reservoir and these shelves where I store the various nutrient bottles. Obviously, when setting this stuff up, make your life as easy as possible. You'll need to drill a small hole through the cap of each bottle. When it comes to moving into the world of nutrient dosing, this really is your crossing the Rubicon moment. The hole just needs to be wide enough to fit one of these 1 8 inch tubes through. Note, the difference between the tube like this, designated for liquid nutrient concentrate, and this other special tubing designed for pH adjuster fluids. Both are supplied with the Parapod, so it's all good. See how I've snipped the end of each tube at a 45 degree angle? A small detail, but it basically mitigates any tiny risk of the tube end sort of suckering itself to the bottom of the bottle. Each peristaltic pump corresponds to a bottle. The left tube sucks the liquid up out of the bottle and the right tube carries it to the reservoir. The Pro Controller and each Parapod each need their own connection to mains electricity and can run on 110 or 240 volt power. There are six main readings. On the left hand side you've got the actual nutrient concentration, followed by the nutrient solution temperature, and finally the pH. This shows you what's actually happening in your reservoir. Keep an eye on your pH and conduct probes. It's easier to forget about them when you're not manually testing all the while. Clean your probes every week and calibrate the pH meter regularly too. If you don't, the readings will become less accurate, which kind of invalidates the whole premise for the auto dosing in the first place. Conductivity probes, in particular, if left for long periods of time, can form deposits of sludge between the probes, which can increase the measured conductivity between them, giving you a false reading meaning your plants will be underfed. <laughs> no! Speaking of which, you should lift up your nutrient bottles and check their weight. Make sure they're not getting too low. Blue Labs supply Parapod modules with three pumps, the M3s like I have here or the M4s with four pumps. Both are capable of dosing 120 mLs per minute, more than sufficient for a 200 liter or 50 gallon reservoir. If you're working with larger volume reservoirs, say 250 gallons or 1000 liters or more, Blue Labs also offers an L3 commercial dosing pump which doses 10 times faster than the M3s and M4s. Wow. Okay, I think that'll do for now. If you're thinking of taking the plunge and moving to automated dosing, let me know. I've also included a link to the Pro Controller in the description below. Auto dosing really does help you level up as a grower, so I highly recommend you look into it if you haven't already. Questions and comments down below as always. Like, subscribe. I love you all. Bye bye.